Oh yeah, what's up everybody? My name is Blade. Welcome back to more Batman the Telltale series. This is season two. They just released the game today. Uh, unfortunately, I'm posting it the day after and uh, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> so uh, I'm playing a little later than I thought I would be. I had some things to take care of and um, I don't know. I don't really like posting two videos in one day. So I'm probably gonna post this early Wednesday morning, uh, which should be right now if you're watching it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I like the first one. Uh, it was great. Good storytelling. And I'm excited for this one. So let's see if they catch us up on my decisions from the last one. I'm not sure. But I'm excited. The Enemy Within. Okay, what is it telling me to do here? Use default choices. Continue my story. Yeah, why not? Hopefully it remembers what I did. Um. Okay, yes. I don't want to change anything. Alright, here we go. Episode 1, The Enigma. I like that. And that sounds like the Riddler to me. At least what's up. that's what they called him in uh, the Batman movie. Uh, what was it? His name is Edward Nigma or something? Enigma? I don't know. Something like that. I know that has to do with Riddler. So enough talk for me. Let's do this. Barely visible. It's barely visible right there. Which I'm pretty sure is fine for YouTube, but a little more. What? Yo. You guys know me. I like red. And since Batman's outfit is black, red and black is sick. Now, like most of my Telltale series, I will try not to talk much. Um, so if you don't hear from me for a good chunk, that's why. I like to listen to the story as well. And Telltale is a big thing on storytelling. So I'm um, going to stay pretty quiet here and let you enjoy. I'll chime in from here and there, though. So enjoy. One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. I like that. I like how the question mark is kind of like a hook instead of a, an actual question mark. Now, I don't mean to stop the story, but I do like subtitles. Not really for me, but for, you know, YouTube. Just in case people like to watch it like that. There we go. Continue. Look at their teeth. 
Here it is. Rumi Mori, import export magnet, one time Pipex CEO, international arms dealer. The world sees Mori as a legitimate businessman, a philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence, a masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. I don't. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Mori. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Mori's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Mori is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his communications. Al, I'm hacking into Mori's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Some place where only high rollers go. Sorry to be blunt, but you're not my type. Excuse me? No, really, I've got pretty specific tastes. <laughs> Get over yourself, Bruce. I was just trying to be friendly. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Mori. I am death. <laughs> Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Are you always this rude? Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates Hello? Not him? How about we go back to my place? Wait, what? I'll call my driver. Meet me outside. You're a piece of... Excuse me. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is are you dead? <laughs> Let's get started. Get out of there. Get your suit. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? 
Batman? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. This is cool. Be ready for a fight. I love all the different portrays of Batman, you know? Everyone has, like, a different thing the way they do it. Uh, like, I've never seen that, like, his costume straight up in his car. So, really cool. And, you know, every, like, Michael Keaton and Val Kilmer and Christian Bale. and Man, there's been a lot of Batmans. <laughs> and, um, of course, Ben Affleck. It's cool to see another writer, another director's view on Batman, how he does, how he does stuff. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this. Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. Bad drone, fully functional. That's a good riddle, I have no idea. I need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very... Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. The kind of conundrum that drives you to distraction. Rattling around like a rat in your skull. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Believe me. I know. Remember, choose your words carefully, Maury. You only have so many fingers. It'll be that much harder to count your blood money. But don't think you can just stop. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. What the? Oh, slick. I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman! We can't get in! The front's covered by gunmen and... They've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? Hmm... Tear gas will hurt... ...the people. So, I'll just do a frontal assault. Make a frontal assault. Try and draw their fire away from me. <sighs> you got it. You're completely insane! No. I don't believe that's it. Oh my god! I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. This is violent! Give them hell. We're counting on you. They've raised the violence. Schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage. Shoot the hostage. Oh, this is really different. I am 
that. The Batman clearly isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well... Since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Gotham has forgotten you, Riddler. Crawl back under your rock before you get hurt. <laughs> Says the man with a hook at his throat. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are. Gordon, now! Con oh, you have to be kidding! But not smart enough! Let me show you how it was done back in the day. doesn't do it for me. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. You thought that stunt with Maury would cover your escape. I wanted to show you I could save him and still catch you. I don't have to compromise. You haven't caught me yet. Nothing I've seen so far suggests you will. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen.
You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. That was a badass intro. I like how Amanda Waller's there. And it's a lot different. Like, the the different quick time effects, they really changed it up. And I like it better. They did a really good job. If you can hear that barking, that's my dog. My bad. I'll do my best to mute the mic and all that and not talk much. But if you heard that, I'm sorry. But yeah, sick ass intro. I like it so far. Let's continue a little bit more. Your days are numbered, bat freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, Arf. whatever. Keep one eye in the sky, jerk-offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help. Dragging him down. You got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. Arrogance like that will be his undoing. He keeps showing off he's bound to make a mistake. Well, maybe, but we can't underestimate him. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way, I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary bad man. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I don't know who you think you are, but I don't like your attitude. Who I think I am. <laughs> oh, I know I'm your new best friend. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them, give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler they're kind of our specialty. I've never heard of this agency. I'll take that as a compliment. We like to keep a low profile. <laughs> that means she operates from the shadows. As do you. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back. And if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. I work with Gordon. No one else. I appreciate loyalty. But that there, that's the issue. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller- Please, Commissioner. What was that charge of the light brigade crap with the riot shields? Good cops got hurt because of it. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? You can't put this on Jim. I made the call about a frontal assault. Then maybe you're not as impressive as I thought. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. 
I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He's a madman. You can't look for reason in someone so clearly deranged. Riddler does show signs of an obsessive compulsive disorder, but he's calculating, fiercely intelligent. I'd be surprised if this wasn't part of a bigger plan. Let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos, the energy. You can't keep away, can you? You can't go two city blocks in Gotham without tripping over criminal scum. Most people just get up and run away. I'm not most people. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is going to become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. <laughs> I thought that was a, a good smooth way to leave. I, you know what? I remember a good amount of the first season, and I like this a lot better. Like, just the way the intro is. The way the mechanics are. And I like it. it. Just look, and it looks better. It looks smoother. Uh, I think they just improved on everything. Full evening. I've taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I really like that symbol, that hook. Maybe music will help. The classical. Along with the classics. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. All right, guys. Finding a good stopping point here. Thank you so much for watching. I usually like to do these episodes like in two parts because usually it's anywhere from like an hour, an hour and 20. And I like to get a first 30, th first 30, 40 minutes and then finish it up in my next video. But that was an awesome intro. Uh, the only thing is I whooped Riddler's ass pretty easily. There's no challenge at all. <laughs> like, so, um, that's the only thing. Like, I wonder if he's going to be a challenge for me later, but easily whooped his ass and his plan came crumbling down fast. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I love, 
Uh, it's so far, I think the Batcave looks even better than the first one. Um, it just looks awesome, and I love the new mechanics and everything. So, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, episode 2 should be up tomorrow, and we'll finish, um, uh, finish up... Uh, Oh, episode one, part two, I guess if you want to say. But yeah, good, good start to season two. I love it. Thank you all again, and I'll talk to you guys later.